Tony. Hello, hello. So, everybody, this is Tony Giordano. Say hi, Tony. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Nuclear Medicine. Thank you. So, um, before we go on with our interview, are you from Cincinnati, Tony? I'm originally from Cincinnati, yes. But a few years ago, I ended up moving over to the sunny side of Cincinnati down in northern Kentucky. And um, have you always wanted to be in a nuclear, not nuclear, a medical field? Uh, medical field, yes. Actually, probably uh, since middle school. I knew I wanted to get in the medical field. I knew I wanted to do something uh, just to help other people. But I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do until probably two years into college. And I'm glad I ended up in nuclear medicine. And why did you choose Cincinnati Children's? Well, I've always, I've always had a heart for kids. And I, I remembered my time here when I was in school, and I, I really enjoyed it. And it turns out that I knew a couple of people that worked here uh, who I liked hanging out with. So uh, I thought it was just a perfect fit. Okay. So before we go on with our questions, can you give us a tour around the room? Yes, yes. What would you like to see first? Uh, let's go to that one machine right there. That thing, this is a, uh, just a distraction station. A lot of times it's helpful when patients aren't really paying attention to what we're doing uh, to them. So, uh, so this thing lights up and it's fun. It actually plays music. It projects things on the, on the ceiling. So uh, it just makes our job a little bit easier. Okay. And right behind you, what's right that all about? Oh, this is just a little computer. A lot of times nurses are in here and they have to do a lot of charting. So it's just a computer for the nurses. <laughs> this, is a, uh, this is an iPad stand. A lot of times we'll use iPads to distract patients. And so we can just pop the uh, iPad in there and just kind of put it over their face and no one has it. Okay, and you're your um, supply cloth, well, supply... Yeah, supply cabinets, uh, just a lot of diapers and towels and sheets and things. Okay, yep. and the machine, can you give us a little detail on this machine? Yes, this is a nuclear medicine gamma camera. And um, it's basically uh, basically kind of like a big radiation detector. That's all it is. Okay, yep. let's move over to the corner. Well, um, what's that thing in the corner? Uh, the yellow thing, is that what you're looking at? The yellow thing and the one way, way in the corner. All right, the yellow thing is a... Uh, a hamper, basically, for all our dirty linen. And the thing all the way in the corner there, that's a that's a potty. That's a potty seat. There's one of our tests, uh, it's called a it's called a renal LASIK scan. We'll we'll use or a uh, I'm sorry, a renal cysto uh, they we'll have to use that sometimes. That's all. Okay. What about these items on the wall? Those are called collimators. You can kind of basically think of them as lenses on a camera. You can swap out lenses on the camera. You can swap out these lenses on the on the camera here, depending on which study that we're doing. Okay. And can you give us a tour of the control room? Yes. If you'd like to turn around, right behind you. This is kind of where we hang out. This is where our computers are. Uh, this is where we set everything up, make sure we're doing the right thing on the right patient. And uh, that's where all the magic happens. Really. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, are you ready for our questions that our families and patients might ask you? Yes. All yes. right. Shoot. Shoot. I'll do my best. First question. Okay. Um, does the radiation come out of the camera? Does the radiation come out of the camera? For the most part, no. The majority of our tests, no radiation is coming out of the camera. It's all coming out of the patient. Uh, however, there are a couple studies that we... Uh, that will tack a CAT scan on at the end. Not this camera, but a couple of our cameras are called hybrid cameras, where they're the nuclear medicine gamma camera with the CAT scan attached to it. And we'll do a quick CAT scan at the end. Uh, but that's the only time any radiation would be coming out of the camera. Okay, what makes nuclear medicine different from all the other modalities in radi uh, radiology? Well, um, you can kind of think of it as almost opposite. Uh, like I said, we'll, there's no radiation that comes out of here, like a, like a CAT scan or an X-ray. The, the radiation is coming out of the camera with us. We inject the radiation or have them swallow a radioactive pill or eat some radioactive scrambled eggs even. Um, and so the radiation is inside the patient coming out. And another big difference is we look at uh, how the body functions instead of how the body looks. So say the patient would get 
uh, an ultrasound for their gallbladder. They'll, they'll be able to see how does the gallbladder look. It doesn't look good. Is the size correct? You know, are there any gallstones? But but they're still thinking there might be something wrong with it. So we'll do uh, one of our gallbladder scans and we'll, we'll find out. You know, it, it might be it might look right. There might not be gallstones, but it's just not working properly. So we look we look more at function rather than structure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does the picture hurt? Pictures do not hurt uh, unless you get hurt by by having your picture taken with a regular camera. Uh, this one won't hurt either. Okay. Can a family member be in a room during the pictures? Absolutely. Family members are welcome to be in the room the whole time. If we do a quick CAT scan, we'll have you put a lead vest on. But other than that, yes, you can be in the room the whole time. Okay. Is it okay to have metal on my clothing? For the most part, yes. Uh, metal is not that big of a deal for us as it is, say, an MRI or CAT scan. A lot of times we can get away with some metal. We might have you take the big belt buckle off or remove your keys or phone from your pocket. But other than that, we don't, we don't care too much about zippers or things like that. Okay, so the smaller the metal, the yes, you don't worry about that. Absolutely, the smaller the metal, the better. But, but yeah. uh, do family members have to wear a lead vest? Um, I guess I kind of touched on that. We, uh, for the most part, no. I'd say ninety-five percent of the time, family members do not need to wear a lead vest unless we do. Uh, we do that CAT scan, and then we'll have them put it on or step out into the hall. Okay. Is it safe to be around other people since I'm going to be radioactive, Tony? Uh, yes, it's absolutely safe uh, for you, the patient, to be around other people after you've uh, been injected or, or eaten um, some radioactive material. However, every once in a while we'll do a therapy, and, um, and so there might be some restrictions if you're here to actually be treated for something, but we'll go over all that before you get here. All right. Will I glow? Unfortunately, no. No, you will not glow. You'll still need your nightlight tonight. Okay, so... Will my poop glow? Your poop, your poop will not glow. That would be so cool uh, if it did, but no. Okay, last and very important question, Tony. Okay. Will I develop superpowers because of the radiation? Ooh, that's a very good question. You know... You may, you may not. You never know. Patients walk out of here. I don't know what happens to them. We just ask all our patients if they do develop um, you know, superpowers to keep it to themselves. It's more like a secret society. So, um, so you just have to keep that to yourself. All right. Well, thank you, Tony, for giving us a tour around the nuclear medicine division. No problem. Yeah. It's great to, great to see you. I'm glad you stopped by. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. And everybody, goodbye. And hit that like button. So long. Well.